It's virtually impossible to talk about reality shows about cars without mentioning Aaron Kaufman. His expertise as a mechanic and car fabricator was definitely a sight to behold during his time in Fast and Loud and the next shows he was in, gaining him such huge popularity that many people are still interested in what he's doing, even though he's been on a prolonged hiatus from TV for years. So whatever happened to Aaron Kaufman? We know his disappearance from the entertainment world has been worrying for many fans. That's why we bring you all the details about his current life, business, his relationship with his former co-stars, and more. For those who are used to seeing Aaron Kaufman's presence on TV in the past decade, it must be strange not having seen him in any series for the last couple of years. However, his lack of presence in the entertainment world is nothing to worry about, much to the relief of his fans. Aaron is still very active in the automotive industry. Although his business, Arclight Fabrication, hasn't updated its social media accounts and website for some time, Aaron's Instagram account shows that the shop is still up and running. As well in 2021, Aaron participated in several races, such as the Mint 400 and the GM Nationals, and worked as a mechanic for Checo Perez during his F1 events. While we're not sure how well those races ended up for him, seeing him continue his career in motorsports is thrilling. Though it's unfortunately hard to know what he's up to on the personal side, recently, in a rare but heartfelt Instagram post, Aaron opened up about the death of his dog Lola, who passed away in November 2020 from an aneurysm, a situation which clearly affected him. Despite the uncertainty regarding his future on TV, Aaron's professional and personal life seems to be going well nowadays. There were many things we loved about Fast and Loud, but it's undeniable that Aaron Coffin's presence in it was one of the main reasons the show was a hit. As Gas Monkey Garage's star mechanic and builder, Aaron gained the audience's admiration for his personality, talent, and excellent work drive. Though it's not a wonder why the series' fans were shocked and even heartbroken when he left in early 2017, his exit was apparently the best way to go back then. In an interview with Art of Gears, he stated that his sense of creativity and skills were limited during the last couple of years in the shop, confessing to have having hit the bottom end of the type of cars I wanted to build, added to the many adjustments his work went through to fit the in-camera time requirements. The project's high difficulty, rush deadlines, and limited budgets were extremely challenging factors, ultimately playing a crucial role in his decision to resign. Despite the huge international fame and recognition Aaron gained through Fast and Loud, no one can really fault him for leaving both the shop and show altogether, as his resignation was evidently the only natural conclusion to several years dealing with the many unresolved issues which heavily overworked him and his crew. Anyone who has ever watched reality TV knows that most events aren't left to the imagination, especially when it comes to feuds and drama. However, regardless of his many years in the entertainment world, Aaron Kaufman has never been into that type of thing, making it difficult to get a clear picture of the state of his relationship with Richard Rawlings, his former boss in Gas Monkey Garage. Nonetheless, by gathering together all the puzzle's pieces, we can conclude there's no bad blood between them nowadays, though they're not on too friendly terms either. Looking back to the Fast and Loud episode showcasing Aaron's departure, the tension was evident, especially after his confession of how the last five years felt like 20 while working there. Later in an interview, Aaron admitted growing personal issues and professional differences of opinions played a role in his resignation, but what exactly those were is still unknown. For his part, Richard addressed Aaron's departure in a business-like fashion by telling D Magazine, he was just my employee, we didn't hang out outside of work. While the reserve surrounding the professional breakup is disappointing, the fact they weren't seen together again after Aaron left the show makes it safe to assume that their relationship became only work-related at some point. While Aaron Kaufman's excellent skills were one of Gas Monkey Garage's biggest assets for over a decade, his exit from it didn't result in the business's downfall. To this day, Richard Rowling's shop is still up and running, though the same can't be said about Fast and Loud. During an interview with the Joe Rogan Experience podcast in late 2020, Richard revealed that the show had ended after the 16th season. As explained, he had kind of gotten to the top of that mountain of being on Discovery, sensing it was the sign to move on. From then on, Richard kept himself and the shop busy by producing content for his YouTube channel and joining several car exhibitions and events, making it evident that the show's possible return on a different network is an unlikely possibility for now. Though Richard's explanation regarding the end of Fast and Loud is reasonable, it hasn't stopped people from theorizing that the cancellation was due to the slide in the show's ratings, which are possibly connected to Aaron's exit. This theory might not be far-fetched, as data from the rating graph shows that Aaron's departure in the 10th season's episode, Bye Bye Beardy, was the second highest rated one in the series' history with 8.7 points. 
clearly surpassed the average ratings of the following entire seasons. For a man as talented and cool as Aaron Kaufman, it's quite surprising to know that his beginnings weren't as out of the norm as expected. Like many fellow stars from other Car Center TV shows, Aaron's story with mechanics and auto parts started when he was a teen. As his longtime friend Scott Milling Jr. recalled during an interview with The Magazine, he and Aaron met during their second year of high school when Aaron drove a Jeep Cherokee modified by himself. Both Hot Rod fans, Aaron and Scott soon joined forces to upgrade a cab pickup themselves, the first of the many projects they worked on together for the next couple of years. However, their journey in college was a short one, as by the time they enrolled into the Arlington-based University of Texas, they were already knowledgeable enough in mechanics to exhibit their rides in car shows far from home, making it apparent how much of a waste of money and time it would be to continue studying. Before the first semester ended, Aaron and Scott dropped out with the clear intention of establishing their own business, but a dream which never saw the light since no one wanted to loan them money. Scott eventually joined the US Marines. How exactly Aaron Kaufman met Richard Rawlings is unknown, but that encounter defined the professional career for years to come. Despite the 13-year age gap between them, Richard and Aaron's partnership was instant. Together they traveled, promoting a very new gas monkey garage in exhibitions and races. Richard wasn't new to business though. In 1999, he founded Lincoln Press, a company he sold in 2004, when Gas Monkey Garage, which was founded two years prior, was on the rise. Back then, the already vastly talented 20-year-old Aaron was the perfect addition to Richard's growing business of fixing, rebuilding, and selling what others thought were just pieces of junk. Spending their days driving around the country, discovering new places, joining races, and all types of automotive events was a once-in-a-lifetime adventure for both. We drink all the beers, wrecked as much shit as we can, and blow on to the next town, left them with many wonderful tales to tell, as Aaron affirmed. Unfortunately, Aaron and Richard's good times were short-lived. Reportedly, Gas Monkey Garage closed its doors only a couple of years later. Besides finding a new job in a local shop named Four Wheel Parts and not working anymore for Richard, opened some unexpected professional doors for Aaron. In 2005, he debuted on TV in a couple episodes of the very popular Overhaul though his appearances in the car flipping show didn't exactly make him famous. Meanwhile, Richard worked in the healthcare industry while pitching a show based on his then-closed business to several producing companies. He found no success until 2011 when Craig Kaufman from Discovery saw the potential in it and Gas Monkey Garage was soon reopened. Getting Aaron back into the business was vital to the primary success of Fast and Loud and even his old friend Scott McMillan was added to that equation for the first season. According to Kaufman, Producing that type of show was risky at first, but what ensured its success wasn't its format or the work they did, but the dynamic between Aaron and Richard. They were a great duo and it worked. The show started rising in the ratings straight away, which led to a lot of other car shows. Leaving Gas Monkey Garage might have looked risky on Aaron's part, but it's evident he knew what he was doing. Just a couple of weeks after his departure Fast and Loud episode aired in February 2017, Aaron announced that plans for his business arc -like fabrication in Dallas were already set. The shop wasn't your common car flipping business though. Their mission was to build parts especially for Ford F100s from 1957 to 1979, a market which Aaron believed was underdeveloped compared to the vast ones for Chevys and GM pickups. By mid-2018, arc -like fabrication was a reality, growing so popular that a change of location was needed after less than a year. Besides the obvious services Arclight Fabrication provided its customers, merchandise and apparel were also on sale on their website. The business is still active to this day, despite the fact that its website and social media have been abandoned for quite some time. Knowing how sudden Aaron's departure from Fast and Loud was, no one can fault his fans for fearing that he would never return to TV. Fortunately, Aaron eventually starred in his own show and doing things his way this time. As he had previously affirmed in early 2017 to Art of Gears, if he agreed to be on another show, it had to be one he thoroughly enjoyed. I want to be ecstatic about it. I want to be very proud of the program and the parts that I make. To everyone who's ever seen Aaron working with cars, it's pretty obvious how passionate he is about his craft. Not accepting less than he wanted out of it, Aaron's show Shifting Gears premiered in March 2018 and it was nothing like Fast and Loud used to be. Instead of rushing to finish every project by working non-stop with days with no sleep, Shifting Gears was characterized for showing in deep detail the best of Aaron's and his crew's abilities. Putting a big emphasis on the building of big, powerful cars, it's clear that Aaron wants his series to be the embodiment of his love for automobiles, for the fun of it, and not necessarily for the money. 
Shifting Gears only lasted two seasons on air before its cancellation in 2018. Aaron went on to appear in a couple of episodes of the unscripted reality TV series The Jim Connor Files, which featured other big names in the car and race industry, such as Ken Block and Derek Dauncey. Then in 2019, his second show, Aaron Needs a Job, premiered on the Discovery Channel as well. That show was far different from anything he'd done before, taking the audience with him to travel all around the country. Aaron discovered many hidden treasures in the American automobile industry, showing the most exciting and innovative side of it. Although Aaron Needs a Job wasn't officially cancelled, any news of a possible renewal hasn't been revealed. While this doesn't extinguish our hopes of seeing Aaron on TV ever again, for now he seems happy with just taking care of business and his involvement in racing. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.